and I'm super excited to bring you guys another lip try on. Well, I already did essentially, and it's of uh, the new Shop Masse AOA Velvet Lips. I felt like when this launched, I wasn't super attracted to the line because there were just a lot of pink bright shades and I knew that this was not my taste. So I ended up purchasing a lot of the shades. Some were sent to me from Shop Masse, which I am eternally grateful for, but I just ended up buying the rest of the colors that weren't sent my way. The shade that I'm currently wearing is the very last shade. That's what I do in all these try-ons. And that shade is Luna, which is this really dark purple. I think it looks darker on the lips than it does in the tube, which is kind of surprising, especially for a dark purple. But if I'm being quite honest, there's only one shade in this collection that I really, really like and that I would really recommend to you if you guys like the way uh, lipsticks look on me and if you have a similar skin tone to myself. And that one is going to be this red shade here called Lana and it's definitely that like um, I don't know how to describe it it's like a warm red but it's definitely wearable um, not too intense but it's just like that perfect summery orangey red Unfortunately, as far as the rest of the shades, especially like the lighter pinks, I'm not really a fan of on me personally. I think that they are a little too vibrant for my taste, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who really like these type of colors. I just find myself really gravitating more towards the darker four um, that are in the selection. So there is that. Now I do want to go ahead and talk about the formula because I do think that this formula is quite special. They label this as a velvet lip and it kind of is like that. If you guys are familiar with like regular velvet lipstick bullets similar to like the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks, then this is like that but in a liquefied version. It does take a little bit longer to dry on the lips. It's not as powdery as some of the other velvet lipstick bullets on the market, but it is very nice. I think the formula in itself is very reminiscent of like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but without being super drying and without having that butthole lip. 
Also, these are part of the Paw Paw charity line, so 55 cents of the $1.55 gets donated to help animals, which I obviously really enjoy and love. But here is my gripe with this. Now this is not going to be mask friendly because it does not dry down. This is something that will transfer a lot and it's going to get everywhere, especially if you are wearing some of these darker shades like this darker purple that I'm wearing. I'm going to go ahead and kiss my hand so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. You get a clear lip mark. You are in for a real treat if you are wearing a mask with this one because literally it's going to get everywhere inside that mask is going to transfer all over your lips if you kiss somebody it's really really going to transfer what i feel like this formula is is like a genuine liquefied lipstick like a liquefied lipstick bullet so if you are somebody who likes to have a moisturized lip but has like a matte look then this is definitely going to give it to you it's just not going to be extremely long wearing it is going to be hydrating I do want to mention though that with this formula even though it's not super long wearing in order to get it to be more of like your typical liquid lipstick formula I recommend doing a nice thick layer blotting it off with the tissue and then going in again and then blotting it one more time so you're gonna have two layers with blots in between and I find that that method is the best way to get that longer wearing more of a stained effect on the lips and it's just going to be less transfer proof I mean it's gonna be less in transfer transferless no less transfer thank you Today is a rough day, okay? I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> I also want to mention the scent on these. It smells like cheap vodka. It's really weird. It smells like the uh, vodka hand sanitizers you get at some stores. It's it's not that great. Um, but once it sits on the lips and once you blot it off, you don't really smell it as much, but it definitely is prevalent when you are applying it on the lips. So just be wary of that if you are sensitive to scents or if you just don't like that uh, cheap vodka smell. All in all, what I think about this lip collection is I think it's okay. I really like the formula of this. It's just the fact that I only like one shade, which is the problem for me. I like these darker tones, don't get me wrong. They're not patchy, by the way. I didn't even mention that. The darker tones are not patchy at all. Very, very pigmented, very smooth, very similar to a liquefied lipstick bullet like I mentioned earlier. But I just wish that there were more of like brown nudes or even something a little bit more muted as opposed to looking a little bit more neon on me. I feel like some of the pink shades really just like punch you in the face and they don't really look as flattering upon my skin complexion. Comparing this formula to the other Shop Missé liquid lipsticks or the lipsticks in general from Missé I should say, I definitely like this formula a little bit better than the regular traditional matte liquid lipsticks. I like this 100% more but I just wish this had the same color selection as the regular matte liquid lipsticks. Also I wish that the selection here was a little bit more wearable and more of like that blotted look kind of like the So Smooth lipstick which is my favorite line from the Miss A website. And just like that, you guys, those are all of my thoughts on these liquid lipsticks. I hope you all really enjoy. If you guys wanted to snatch any of these shades or any other Miss A products, then please don't forget to use my affiliate link down in the description box below. It's always encouraged, never forced. Hope you guys all really enjoy this review, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts.